Hey everyone, Wylock here. A few weeks ago, our local library was offloading old books for like a buck a piece. It was just a fire sale, and they had a section of like board games, and I found this old backgammon set. So I picked it up for $2, figuring I would do something with it. I did. I made a character portfolio for my Dungeons & Dragons characters. Uh, check this out. Two bucks. How to play backgammon, rubber banded to a small backgammon set. Don't need the book, let's get this rubber band off, throw the book away, and check this thing out. It's generally in okay condition. Uh, the hardware is fine, the screws aren't busted. It feels very nice, this is like a soft corduroy and there's some padding underneath. Let's take a look inside. So as you'd expect, it's a miniature set, so all these little pieces. The dice roller cups, uh, I don't think I'm really gonna use those. Maybe in a future project, I'll throw them in my bin. The actual pieces are like 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. Perfect size is a miniature base for small creatures. So I saved those. I did notice some wear and tear. So these strips here, nothing the little bit of hot glue couldn't fix. Go ahead and do those repairs. In general, in life, there is nothing that hot glue cannot repair. No lie, I just fixed the window blinds in my son's bedroom. The gears and the thing up top were busted. Fixed them. Hot glue. Let's test out some dice. I got a couple sets here, but I mean, they're all the same size. Two of those three compartments should be able to fit a full set, and it does. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but they do all fit. When I close it, you can rattle it around, and as you'd expect, they don't go anywhere. We'll open it back up, good to go. Leaves the third cell there for my miniature. I'll show you that later on. Taking another look at the outside, the corners are pretty beat up. They're kind of frayed. I went back and forth on this, but I kind of like it. I'm not going to put reinforcements on those. I'm just going to let it ride. It's character. Aging. Now the character sheets themselves. I've actually been designing my own character sheet for a couple weeks now, totally unrelated to this, but I scaled it down and moved a whole bunch of stuff around to fit sheets that fit in the, the, the two main nacelles, if you will. So I finished those, printed them up, and then glue sticked them to some graphics medium chipboard for stability. I'm not going to permanently attach these so that I can swap out characters, but they stay in there pretty good on their own. Let me show you. Let's load this thing up for the first time. The character slabs go in. My 28 millimeter miniature fits there. Let's say that fast. And I tested a few miniatures. They all pretty much tend to fit without anything breaking. And the dice, very good. Ah, but then there is a finishing touch needed. I went into 3D Studio Max and whipped up a quick Wylox Armory logo plaque. Printed that on my Anycubic Photon Mono Resin 3D printer and spray primed it in black. Here's a little tip to get a quick and dirty, very stylish, distressed metal look. Dry brush it at an angle. Any metallic over black, this is gonna work. Again, it's a, it's a stylish take, but it works. That said, I did decide I wanted to match the existing hardware, so I pulled out this Treasure Gold from Folk Art, a huge friend to the channel, and painted the plaque with that instead. Then it just gets hot glued on the front. Voila, looking pretty good. It's just something different, you know, I'm usually a dungeon master, only about 2% of the time am I ever a player, and we're going into a stint right now where in our campaign, one of the players is going to be a DM because he's really taken a shine to it, and I get to be a player for the foreseeable future. So this is my portfolio, and it holds Wylock, who is a level 10 wizard in the divination tradition. What alternative or weird or unique things have you done for your character portfolio? Share it in the comments below. I'm Wylock. Make things, play games. Play games.